talk about how to get uh, up to $50,000 with one of my favorite banks, uh, Chase, right? So this would be considered a major institution. So in a lot of my older videos, I talk about how you should be targeting the three tiers of banks, right? So there's national banks, Chase, Bank of America, American Express, right? Then there's regional banks, banks that are only in certain regions of the country, right? Third, you want to target local community banks, small banks, right? All those have their pros and cons, right? But uh, I like Chase because they offer um, great sign-up bonuses. They offer 0% interest uh, credit cards, 12 months. And generally speaking, they do offer high limits, okay? So uh, what you want to do is, so this, this particular business credit card right here, the Inc. Business Unlimited, this is a relatively new car. I'm sorry, this one right here, the Premier, uh, this doesn't offer 0% interest. Uh, this one is more so like a charge card and you get a lot of cash back. After you spend 10000 on your uh, first three months, you get $1,000 in bonus cash back. This is not like you, you get, you don't get the uh, ultimate rewards points um, like the like the other cards I'm going to mention. But this card, I, I love this card right here, the Inc. Business Unlimited credit card because you get one. 0.5 cash back on every purchase. Um, there's no annual fee. And the best part is you get 0% interest for 12 months as soon as you open the account on purchases. Um, and then you can meet that sign of bonus relatively easy, $6,000 first three months. And then this one is good. Uh, and this one, um, Inc. Business Cash is good. Another 0% interest credit card, no annual fee. Um, so what you want to keep in mind is, so this is from my personal experience. Um, Chase is can be very um, stringent on their underwriting, meaning that you know you need to have a good score. Um, minimum, I would prefer you have a 720. I've seen people get approved lower than that. Um, but minimum 720, preferably 740 and above. And the reason is because once you're at 740 and above, you're, you're in a different tier. So a couple of things you want to keep in mind before you apply. Chase is known to be a relationship type of bank, right? Doesn't mean you can't get approved if you don't have a relationship. It just means you're you're more likely to get approved and improve your odds if you already have a relationship with them. That's number one. So you want to open up a, either a personal account or a business account. So I have a personal and a business. Mainly all my stuff is through Chase um, as far as like the banking stuff. Uh, so that's, that's the first thing. Another thing you want to do for high limits is you want to have... Uh, five to ten thousand dollars in your bank account before you apply uh if you can and the reason is because they all have their own internal grading system banks have their internal a lot of people don't know that they have their internal grading system and put you in different tiers depending on how, how much of a balance you have in your uh, in your bank account your business bank account before you apply and that increases your odds of getting a higher limit um so that's that's another thing you want to keep in mind. And now the good thing with Chase, they, the 524 rule, if you're not familiar with that, they if you apply for five credit cards in the last 24 months, you will get denied. If you have more than uh, if you applied more than uh if you've been approved for more than five business uh five credit cards on the personal side, uh you will get denied if you try it. So they have a 524 rule. You can't have more than five credit cards in the last 24 months um, when you apply for the personal, but that doesn't apply for the business. All right. So you want to keep that in mind. So that's great. So you can apply for uh, several business credit cards. So how you want to stack this is right. So what you want to do is um, every every application, it is a hard pull. Right. So I'm going to give you a couple tips. So what you want to do is you want to apply for their um, obviously their zero percentage credit card. So you want to apply for the Inc. Business Unlimited credit card and the Inc. Business Cash. Now, Here's the trick. So what you want to do is you want to apply simultaneously at the same time. You want to, my sinuses are acting up. If you want to, uh, my allergies, I mean, if you want to apply for the application, you want to submit the application at the same time. Um, because uh, even though you you can, might get away with just getting one hard pull on both, but it's very likely you st you'll still get two, but you, you increase your chances of getting approved for both cards at the same time. Um, at more than that, you won't you uh, you won't get approved. I believe that I was told by a bank representative, uh, you you can't um, get approved for two business cards in the first more than thirty. Like it has to be within the thirty day span. After like you can't apply for four business credit cards like you can with American Express and get approved within thirty days. 
uh, you have to space it out. All right. So the play is have two windows up, apply for the business Inc preferred. I'm sorry, the uh, business Inc cash and the Inc business unlimited. Okay. You want to apply for both of them at the same time. Now, again, they, they are very strict. They can be very strict. I, um, so initially it might be a denial, right? Depending on how, how, how good your credit score is and all the other factors. Um, but in fact, I, I don't think I've ever instantly be a instantly was approved for an initial limit. When I first applied for the business credit cards, I have several business credit cards with Chase and I don't think I've ever got an instant approval. What I've had to do is call the reconsideration line, right? You want to call the reconsideration line and not, I don't want to say nine out of 10 times, eight out of 10 times, that's going to get you the approval. What they want to know is more information on your business. So you want to call, I call them right away. If I don't get approved, if I don't get an instant approval, I call the bank right away. I call Chase Reconsideration Line. You can just Google that. And I call them right away and ask them, hey, I'm just calling to see, get status on my application. Want to see if you needed more information. A lot of times it could be something simple. It could be something as like they, they couldn't find the your LLC. Um, they couldn't find, oh, they're missing some information. You have to submit that. But more than likely it's going to be your income. So they're going to ask more information about your business. They're going to ask what's the gross revenue for the last, last year, what's the gross and what's the net profit after the gross? Like, so you can make 300,000 gross, but what, what do you, what did you net after that? Like what's the actual net profit from that business? Um, now one thing you want to keep in mind is when you put the business in, uh, business uh, income, you want to keep in mind that if, if it's a new business, you can still get approved for a new business. But with a new business, you're just putting a projected income. It doesn't have to be like you. If you have an LLC that's open for three months and you put you project that you're going to make you want to make a reasonable you want to put a reasonable amount of what you think your business is going to generate in revenue for that year, right? You don't want to overdo it. Uh, I've had people, um, normally they don't ask for docs, but the funny thing is um, they might ask for docs because I applied for a personal credit card and this is the first time I've ever actually been asked for docs. Um, they they wanted to see my bank statements, uh, three bank statements. I submitted that. I got approved for $18,000 on the personal side, but Generally speaking, they don't ask for docs on the business side. Um, that really depends on your credit profile. If you have a lot of recent open accounts, uh, they might ask for that. So you don't want to put a crazy amount as far as revenue if you can't verify that revenue. Um, so you want to keep that in mind. But what you want to um, focus on is make sure that your credit is in place. You want to have a minimum 720, preferably 740 and above. You want to at least have a Chase personal or business account. And this is best case scenario, have five to $10,000 in that bank, let it season uh, anywhere between um, when you open the account, 14 to 30 days, you don't have to wait the three months, uh, 14 to 30 days. It's, it's a good enough amount, good enough time where they can see that you have some sort of money in your account when you apply. Um, but if you get the nine, always call the reconsideration line. That's a great way to get, because what you, what they'll do is just start you off with a low limit. Now, another hack that you can do is you can, so let's say you get approved for two business credit cards and they're only at 5K each. What you can do, um, the, the problem with Chase is every every credit line increase is a hard pull. So it doesn't really, it doesn't, it's not a good idea to ask for a credit line increase. Um, even though you get this removed, I'd rather just apply for a new card and see if I can get a higher limit that way. But what you can do is, you can actually merge the limits. A lot of people don't talk about this. This is a hack right here to get, I turned the five, uh, $5,000 credit card from on the business side to a $22,000 credit card by merging two accounts together, merging two business credit cards. Um, you can move the limit, transfer the limit from one card to the other, and um, they can do that right away, right on the spot. So that's a great way to get high limits on the, on the business, um, business credit cards. One last thing, uh, if you want a higher limit, more than 50,000, what you want to do is have more, a bigger deposit, a bigger amount in your checking account, number one, and you want to uh, do it in, in, in the branch uh, and try to build a relationship with a relationship manager because um, they're the ones who actually can fight for you and fight where underwriting to get that higher limit on the business side. But that's it, guys.
Um, let me know in the comments if you want more information on this.